What's up everyone, this is Big Chips Gaming and welcome to the new series 28 Alphas Later, 7 Days to Die. That's right, brand new series 28 Alphas Later. I've never done this overhaul mod before, it is an overhaul mod, it changes a lot of the base vanilla game of 7 Days to Die. It makes it more prolonged in progression, harder enemies, different tweaks. Like one of the main things I read in the notes of downloading this mod is zombies will only die by headshots, fire, and explosives. So I think I'm going to go into demo expert in this series. So we're going to go into a new game. I already have uh, a world kind of not ready because I need to hit advanced generation. But we need to do this first. So... Blood Moon Frequency every seven days, sure, we'll do seven days. Blood Moon Range, enemies, we'll turn that up to ten. And we'll turn it up even more as the weeks progress. Uh, this lot can stay, feral sensors off. Air drops, mark air drops, that seems fine. Uh, death penalty, XP only. That's the, that's the thing, because it's an overhaul mod, and I don't know really what I've got myself into... Shit, I don't know whether to go permadeath or not. I might not. Oh, we got injured. We got permadeath. What does that say? Permadeath completely resets the player's progression. Damn. Okay, injured. Retain some debuffs as well as only receiving 50% water and food on respawn. Now yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll just do uh we'll just do XP. We want a little bit of punishment. Uh the percentage of loot spawning containers and on zombies, 100 percent minimum is highly 100% minimum is highly recommended. Huh. Okay. We'll keep that to that then. Nighttime speed. Actually, loot bandits. Let's, let's turn that up. Let's turn that up. Why not? It, it, it'll uh, increase progression. Um, I mean, this is probably going to be... I don't know how long this series is going to be. I've not thought of that yet. It could be not as long as Armageddon, or it could be longer than Armageddon. I have no idea. But I do want to try and explore and get everything that this mod has to offer. Oh yeah, we'll turn it up. Because, yeah, because it's... Oh, wow, okay. Choose from six difficulty settings. So level one is scavenger. Enemies deal 100% damage. Enemies have no health bonus. And then number six is insane. Enemies deal 150% more damage. Enemies have 50% more health. Jeez. Well, we're going to stay with Nomad. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't want to be public. We want that to be not listed. This is the multiplayer section. It's come to my attention that I'm not actually really showed you guys this. Uh, the main menu of 7 Days. Well, this isn't necessarily the 7 Days to Die menu. Because it's it's uh, an overhaul mod. Oh, you can see it. All, all the buildings are generating. That's pretty sick. That's so cool. Look how small the snow biome is. <laughs> that was quite funny. Right, okay, so we've got two really large towns slash cities within, yeah, within uh, the pine forest. An okay amount of cities in the wasteland. The wasteland is the orange and the desert is the yellow. It does have like the little color charts down on the bottom right. Tiny snow biome, that's so funny, that's hilarious. We've got a very small amount of rivers, because I did put a few. Towns, many, wilderness, yeah. We've got some wilderness POIs, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know what I've got myself into. Headshots only, fire and explosives. And there's like so much, there's a lot more as well, other stuff. This is an overhaul mod, an overhaul is taken I want to say like 95% of the actual game is changed, but that's just my, my that's just my my theory, my opinion. Come on, initializing world. It's the first time we've uploaded. Well, we've started this world, so it's going to take a while. Create a player, build an environment. Okay, so we're nearly there. Okay, so we're in. Right, okay. Welcome to 28 Alphas Later. This mod will challenge you in ways that the vanilla game doesn't. 
while keeping the familiar vanilla look and feel. Important points, zombies only take damage with headshots, fire and explosives. Zombies do not bleed. The wasteland biome is irradiated. A hazmat suit is required. Loot is reduced, harvest count are reduced, craft costs more re resources and traders are more expensive. Have fun. <laughs> okay. I, I've, I think I've read this to you guys before, but if you want to read it, pause it. Gone. Okay, so we're here. Is there not a starter POI? Really? There isn't? Fair enough. Oh, we got a backpack. Oh, yeah, the UI is different. Oh. Open you. Uh, place bedroll. So, sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Place you down. Locate trader. 520 meters away. Cool. I'm not going to read that. You guys can if you want to. Uh, what's this? Anonymous help. You don't know me, but I was able to sneak you some food, water, and medical supplies in a pap backpack. I'll do what I can to sneak you some extra supplies by plane. Be safe out there. P.S. I packed your favorite weapon. A good Samaritan. Oh, thank you. Okay. So we've got all the early staged melee weapons to choose from. I kind of want to go wooden club. I do like me the wooden club. Bats and everything. I love it. My favourite weapon of choice. <laughs> and we got a tier 4. Nice. And we got a stone axe already. We got a flashlight. Gonna be needed, I can imagine. And we got some of you. Five feathers. The next thing we need to do is locate the trader. They, well, he or she is 520 metres away. What was that? Branch. Okay. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. Fair enough. It's uh, different. Very different. Normally, you just get wood. So how do I get wood then? That is a question that does need answering. We got egg and feather. Sweet. Yeah, so the loot abundance is 200%. It's the highest it can be. Um, so it's basically doubled what I would normally get. So if I if I find an egg, if it says if it's one, then it's going to be two. Yeah, so two. So if I find four four random eggs, it'll be eight. It might it might be a bit overkill going like further later. But it's mostly just like a boon loot abundance really just affects, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the amount of resources you get. It doesn't like if I find say an AK forty seven, it's not gonna give me two AK forty sevens in one container. Surely not. I don't think that's how it works. But we'll have to see. So if I chop down this tree, what does it give me? Okay, scrap wood. Okay, they gave us a log. What does is, what is the scrap wood do? How do we... Okay, so I can make a building block with scrap, scrap wood. Oh my god, it's six. Six scrap wood just for one frame. That's mental. Okay, well, what about... Okay, so we need logs to make actual wood. And what the hell is that? A table saw? I need a table saw to be able to do that. Right, I'm going to scrap you. Okay, so one log gives us 56. Scrap wood. Branch. Recipes. Alright, stone arrows. I can make four arrows. Cool. This is a learning curve and a half, I will admit. This is very different. We, I'm somewhat okay with different. Keeps things fresh. Keeps things interesting. I think I'm going to take this cloth. Yes. Cloth is good. Well, this is cotton. And if you collect enough cotton, you can make cloth. And cloth is useful in a number of things. There's more cotton. Oh, I'm gonna, oh what have I started? I grab one bit of cotton, and it makes me immediately want to grab more. Like, all of it. <laughs> it's because I've got it. As it it's, a, it's a stack in my inventory. Oh, we found some bones. 
we'll break this down for some bone harvesting. Uh, yeah, because we need a bone to be able to craft a bone knife and then it will give us a little bit more resource gathering when harvesting dead animals or just corpses. Ooh, what do we have in here? A batter up, nice. Knock down power attacks, increased chance of knocking down your enemy. Lovely, thank you. This is a nice little house. Broker, the broken axe. Do I want to raid it or do I want to go straight to the trader? I think I'm going to go to the trader. Might be the better idea to do. This is trader in a large town, I hope. Okay. We've got some zombies. We've got a lab zombie, which is quite unexpected. Whoa! What's going on here? All these guys have just spawned in. Like, why? Why would you do that game? Why? <laughs> I don't like that. They all just spawned in. Well, we can only do headshots. Body shots will do nothing. Like that. See, I just did it to him and it did nothing. Please don't get angry and rage at me. Um, okay. Out of stamina. Knock him down. I don't mind taking all these guys out. It's free XP at the end of the day. Oh, she's angry. She was furious with us. Ugh. <laughs> you got your weird, like, gross, flaggily arm. I don't know if that's a word. Get ya. And also, the zombies seem to walk differently. Like, I'm sure him, he has like a, a limp walk, and her walk is very similar to Big Mama and the Copper and the and Chuma. Pretty sure. Her walk's very different. I, I quite like that. I don't know, it adds like a variety, something unexpected and different. Okay, so the trader is close to a town. Happy days for me. Arlene, just destroy you. The problem with killing a lot of zombies too earlier on is that it would increase the game stage, and the game stage makes it harder. Okay, so we've got a church. This is the town. Headshots only. There is a lot of zombies. Then again, it's always like this. You come to a new area, usually there is a crap ton of zombies. Right, who's this? I'm not sure what trader this is. Is it Trader Joel? I think it is. Trader Joel, how are you, my friend? Do you have any jobs? Whoa. What's this? This is different. Speed clear? What the hell's that? Supply drop, night only. Clear zombies, buried, supply drop, night only again. Huh. Well, that is different. I'm not... Is this new? Is this uh, basic seven days or is this the mod? Clear zombies. Speed clear. Can you help me with my problem? I need your help clearing out all the zombies at... I am gone funeral home. An operative is inbound. I need it cleared as soon as possible. So I'm paying a bonus for a fast clear. Get in there and get it done. Fair enough. Okay. Quest chain completed. White River citizen. New journal. New new journal entry quests. All right. We're gonna. He's got books. I don't want that book. <laughs> Any more books? Tactical warfare. Guess start. Uh, expedition. Oh, I missed that bit. Where it come up. All right. Okay, so. Oh, I want you. Can I have you, please? A nice cuddly bear. And the rug. I might. I mean, it's half eleven. Alright, but yeah, we'll loot, we'll loot somewhat. Oh, two Forger head books. 
does that dew collector that might have an effect on the loot abundance that I have two more forger head books chrysanthemum I might actually turn that down yeah because that's uh, a little bit too progressive I, I think that's that might be too fast I don't know guys let me know do you, do you guys want me to keep the loot abundance at 200% or do you guys want me to turn it down? Okay, I can't break his stuff. What's this? Alright, there's a load of zombies and they're all really close. Does he have a table saw? Because apparently I need one. I need a table saw, guys. <laughs> To be able to make wood stuff. So what? Two more forger heads in this car? We're going to be able to make a crucible in no time if we keep it to there. Also, I've just noticed. Oh, that's cool. Is he going to do it again? Yeah, on the te top left of the screen, it says shelter with a green tick. And when I walk away, open sky, it takes away. Well, I like that. That's pretty cool. Already lose ya. I do need fuel. Right. Right, let's go over to the Am I Gone Funeral Home. Let's repair you. We are somewhat a little bit over encumbered. So I'm going to scrap some stuff that I don't need. I need more arrows. Six. And I don't really have any more wood. Right, okay, we're going melee. Okay, we've got a few of them. Well, he, didn't, he nearly got me. Let's take these guys out. So they will be a problem. Just die, all of you. Oh, what was it? Oh, okay. I don't like it. Sit down, stay down, and shut up. <laughs> Oh, oh! Opened your face like a can of tuna. Oh, there's, there's so many. <laughs> then again, if there was just one, would that still be too many? Probably for me, anyway. Oh, mushroom right there. Take you down. Take your head off. Love the new. Dismemberment system in the in Alpha 21. I love it. Love it indeed. Take the stone. All right. Am I gone for your home? Nice, nice and close. This doesn't seem like a big city or big town. Which I'm somewhat okay with because if it was a city. Then it, w it would cause a lot of problems because, well, <laughs> I took her head off like it was nothing. There wasn't even like a sound effect. It was just a clunk from <laughs> from the club, and the red just come off. Is that everyone? All right, there's a few over there. Well, yeah, three of them. There's a police car. We all know what happens with a police car. If I break it down and the alarm goes off, woo we will be faced with some really terrible zombies. Oh, some glue. Should I live here? Ideally, I like a POI that has that's quite high off the ground. What? Oh, okay. Wow. Well, okay. There's a clock. All right. Let's wake everyone up. Wake up. Ah. <laughs> Oh, nice. There's a clock. Oh, shit. There's one right there. There was one right there. <laughs> Die. Die. I don't have a lot of time. This is where I need guns. You're not part of the POI. Oh, there's no way I can do this in the time that you're asking. Right, the gold medal was gone. Oh, 
not just die, please. Right, you're awake. I'm not going to do this in time. Like, how do I... I need guns, I need everything. There's a lot of, like, slowing down stuff. Take you out. Oh, that didn't... Yeah, that wouldn't have killed it, hurt him because of it's, it's his leg. I wonder, um, when you get the book that says dismemberment, a higher dismemberment chance when shooting them in the leg, for example, does that... Would that still take their leg off? All right, we've almost ran out of almost all of our time. We're just too slow. Oh, I should have gone for the armoured guy first. Oh, why haven't I got a bow? Oh, for God's sake. Why am I stuck? Alright, we've ran out of time now. I don't like that. I don't like that it rushes you. But we've done it. Return to trader. I better still get some decent rewards for that. <laughs> oh, shit. I fell through the floor. Alright, everyone seems like they're outside. Arlene, piss off. Sit down. Go nap nap. Nighty night. Party girl. Same with you. Take your head off. And there's two here. And destroy. And destroy. Couple of light taps. Should hopefully still get you all good. And floppy and ragdolled. And destroyed. Alright, there's a burning boy over there. You can stay over there and leave me alone. Right. Oh, I wish I... So how could I have done that differently? How could I have done that faster? Bearing in mind we've got stamina problems. Oh, leather. I will take you. Bearing in mind, we're not doing that as much damage. Because, you know, we just... Can I turn? Yeah. Thank you. It's... Uh, I don't know. How could we have done that faster? Please let me know, guys. I'm, I'm no good at timed challenges. Never have been. That's why half the time I don't do racing games. Because <laughs> I'm just not quick enough. All medical supplies. Some oil shell. Some lead. I might leave the bodies. Leave them as they are. Exit. Through here. Alright. Up the ladder. Okie dokie. So we are... Alright. So the POI is not big whatsoever. Okay. So we'll loot. Shotgun shells. Medicine pile. Journal. Two meds. What's that? I'm just seeing it. You're not very optimistic about your survival. Eating certain foods, finding warmth and shelter or taking medicine will help you start to feel better. What the hell's despair? That's what I was reading. What the hell is despair? How long has that been there? Headshots only. It's the only way to be sure. <laughs> 25% more damage chance to living things bleed. That was somewhat English. So what's this? Your flashlight is currently powered. The battery is being depleted and when empty it requires replacing. Oh. I like that. That's realistic. Oh, 94%. Fair enough. Okay. And it disappears when I turn my light off. I like that a lot. That's very realistic. There's batteries in our torches. Who knew? Who knew that? I didn't. Why isn't that in the vanilla game? <laughs> should I live here? I somewhat feel like I should live up here. On this roof. On this platform. 
but I'd have to knock down the stairs. That might be a possibility. And I can't want an easier way to get in and out of here. Because this is annoying me. Having to climb through everything. From start to finish. It's, it's very irritating. <laughs> there is a lot of zombies. Sit you down. Oh, I missed you. Nothing but headshots. All day long. Which, I really enjoy that. Headshots is how it should be. It's how it used to be. Very early days of zombie apocalypse games and films. In my experience, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that the first zombie film to introduce sprinting zombies was 28 days... Yeah, 28 days later. Because I... I'm, or it could have been Dawn of the Dead. I'm not sure which one came out before the other. But I'm pretty sure it's one of those one of those films that did it. <laughs> I still missed. I still missed. Come on, him. So despair. What the hell's that? What does that do? I'll have to read into it. I hope it's in my um, journal. All feathers. Can I make more arrows? I need branches. I need to chop down some trees. Yay for me. And we got you. Sit you down. Chill out. Have some rest, my friend. Let's go back to the trader. Let's see if this uh, quest reward is going to be decent. Because uh, we ran out of time. I didn't do that clear in the time that it, asks, it asked me to do it in. I wonder what the uh, loot would have been if I did do it. Did I loot you? I have not looted this yet. Fair enough. Happy days. <laughs> Get up there. Right, Trader Joel, what have you got for me? Well earned, Traveller. Well earned. Okay, not too bad. That's still okay for day one, first quest line with Trader Joel. So he's giving us pipe bombs, armor, po armor pocket mod schematic, and a just straight up armor pocket mod. Crafting skill magazine. All repair kits. I think crafting skill magazine most definitely uh, it's only given us one each vehicle medical cool we are kind of overloaded with stuff clear zombies again I have a task for you Bobcat's bar it's rare to find honor where is that times. where oh where Okay, so it's down there. Down here. Fair enough. Right, so we're almost here. It's literally on the other side of the town. Hey. You were sleeping. <laughs> and I disturbed you. I apologize. Why are zombies in uh, another room in another POI waking up? I'm nowhere near you. <laughs> well, okay, he sounded very close. I didn't like that. I don't have time to kill these zombies. Only POI-ish. Bobcat's Bar. That's a nice building. What building is that? Butcher Pete's? What tier is it? Wow, well, okay, it's a tier four. Okay, so this is kind of built up. Bobcats. It's nearly six o'clock. It's a tier one. We'll try it. I've never done this pill well before. It looks pretty cool. It is a normal clear. So we'll try and get this done as quickly as possible. But we got zombies everywhere. Oh, uh, okay. 
I need to be careful. Whoa, okay, he got me. Oh. Knob. Don't like it. Can I close this? I can, but <laughs> there's a gaping hole there. I'm pretty sure they can get in that. Anyone in the toilets? Nope. Behind the bar. Oh, I wanted to get you while you were falling over. Die, please die. Nice and quick. Oh, it's an ATM. That's locked. Anyone else in here? Yep, there's you. Oh, and a cooking pot in there. I can't really get your head. Because you're too tall. Come on, hit him. Please don't be a landmine. It's not. Right. Everything has come down to this. This is super important. Oh, come on. Stamina. I need drink. I need a drink. I. How much do you give me? 60. I'm only at 50. Close that. Missed. Missed. And I'm at stamina again. Come on. You're almost dead. You've only got five left. I, mi I missed, apparently. Stop. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Right, we're taking that, definitely. They're trying to come in. Oh, I can get you. <laughs> He's poking his head through. Oh, I can't. Missed. I missed. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, stamina. Oh, my God. This is painful. I imagine this is painful to watch. Okay. Uh, dysentery. 10% chance. Chance. I thought I ate that then. I took his arm off. I can't get you. You're really difficult to hit. Because of the door. Alright, I'll just let you in. If you could please come over here. And take... The head. Headshot. That'd be perfect. Uh, take you. Murky water. Peas. Max stamina bonus. No. Water. Yes. We'll eat that. Because it doesn't give us dys dysentery. And eating helps our, our despair. <laughs> As we just bloody found out. Which I still need to read about. We still need to clear the area. Right. Anyone or anything out here that wants a, a head bashing? Just a, just, just a thought. Let's go up here. Right. Okay, flappy fucker. Right. Oh, we got a big boy and a small boy. Please don't be angry. <laughs> We've done ya. Oh shit, he's 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 angry. He's angry. Run. He's angry. <laughs> Take you out. Come on. And again. Thank you. Okay, so we cleared the area. Take all of that. And we even got a cast. That's pretty good. And we can make first aid bandages. I am so full. It's it's a non-laughing matter. And I need to get home yet. Um I'll throw you away. I will scrap you into lead. I'll use one of you. That's good. I'm, I, I didn't realise I found that. Throw that away. Scrap the cobble into stones because we do need arrows. Duct tape. Really good get. Uh, that should be... That's all I can do for now. All right. Let's loot this. Thread needle volume 5. Uh, this issue is all about leather dusters. I can craft a leather duster. That's pretty sick. Can I dysentery 10% chance? That's not good. Let's repair you and take you. I need to hurry up because it's 8 o'clock. I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to panic. But now is not a perfect place to panic. We'll panic. Oh, some farming seeds. I can... Okay, I can make cotton seeds. Uh... That does not give me dysentery. 
Gives me a little bit of water and a bit of food. That's fine. We'll take that. Oh, rocket launcher parts. Gunpowder. Ammo. And I believe I want to. Where's those bones? Ah, oh, I don't have a lot of them. I think it's five bones you need to make a bone knife. No, it's six. Bone knife. Craft. Throw you down on my hot bar. Poke you. Nice. Okay, so we've done it. A little bit of um, problematic performance. Alright, I'm going to... Can I open that? I might just jump. Yeah, let's just jump down. Huh. Let's jump down. Let's make it up. Let's go. Well, that's a thing that I've not decided what my home is. I've not decided where to live. It's probably going to be Amal Gone Funeral Home because it's it's ideal. It's right next door to the trader. Okay, so we made it home. And we've got a little bit of time to, to spare. I hope I have time to take down the ladder. That's going up to where I'm going to stay. Or I might just go completely inside. Ah, oh, a thousand hit points. Of course you are. And I can't close you. I can't lock you. That is really annoying. Because the zombies can quite easily get to me. Did I even loot this? I didn't. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. We've got a double pocket mod. And we got a hat, scrap ammo, and we got a first aid kit and some ammo. ammo. Good. Right, I want to chuck everything apart from you in there. Yeah, that can all stay in there for now. I need to get the um, hover over a slot and press X to lock or unlock the slot. And press X, okay. Ah, that's pretty cool. Alright, I actually thought I lost my buttons. Where it keeps everything I want to keep in my inventory and I don't throw it away. Let's put this down because we need that to be able to respawn. It's almost night time. Let's stay crouched. I hope that we're enough out of the light so we're still more invisible. I need to get rid of this tra these trash piles because they make noise. Let's do that. Destroy this. I might destroy that light. I think I'm scared of the dark. That's the that's the only thing though. Can I make a campfire? Six stones is what I need. Didn't mean to loot that, but pipe batting quality two, tech junkie, headlight. How much stones do I have? Oh, I've got plenty of stone. Campfire. Throw you down. And we did find a cooking pot, which is happy days. We'll put that there. And we've got... Oh, I'll put everything away. Oh, not that one. <laughs> I'll put everything away. Uh, where's my branches? Branches? There you are. Wow, wood scrap's fine. And I want to put you in there. Turn you on. Alright, so we're warm. And we have shelter. How am I not in shelter? I'm still under a roof. Now I'm not warm. Game, could you please make up your mind? I don't want to turn up my light. Because zombies can still hear and see me. Is that going down? Or is it just slowing it down? 6.9. Actually, that reminds me. I need to read into that. Because that seems problematic. Where is it? Right, despair. Right, you are overwhelmed by how hopeless this situation appears. You can combat this by staying in a well-lit area, staying warm and staying dry. Prolonged periods of being wet in darkness or cold temperatures will increase the rate of which your despair grows. Injuries sustained along with hunger and thirst also have an adverse effect, as does being in close proximity to zombies. 
There is medication available to reduce your symptoms and consuming certain food and drink may help too. Treatment from consumables, cooked canned food, 0.1, boiled egg and charred meat. All right, this is all the food. Tier ones, all right, tier three and tier four foods give me three to 5% lower. It's got, it's going, it's going up still. Prana, oh, you, you can combat this by staying. Does it slow it down or not? I don't think it does. You are not very optimal. Eating certain foods and shower or taking medication will help you start to feel better. So the warm in the shelter isn't really doing much. What if I eat one of you? It gives me 50 food and 25 health. And I did find a pure mineral water. I'm pretty sure I drank one earlier. Let's just eat it. Let's drink it, sorry. All right, now it's it's pink. So now what does it say? Wow, okay, that's a lot of uh, effects. More optimistic. You are starting to feel better about your chances of surviving. Woo! I'd imagine the um, the food that we just ate, sorry, my back clicked, is um, maybe a tier three or tier four type food. Efficient digestion, health recovery, dysentery medicine. Okay, so we can eat rotten foods. You drank something which will sort out your guts ache. Drink some more if you don't if you don't feel better. Ha, huh, so I've got 18 minutes on that. Oh, well, that is pretty sick. Let's press X. I like that. I like that it's green. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is day one of 28 alphas later. Overhaul mod. Very interesting first day. Headshots only. That is a learning curve and a half. Well, I always go for the head anyway. You do. You always do. Because you know it does the most amount of damage. And the campfire turned off. Great. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This first video to a brand new series. I really hope you have. Uh, in the next video, we're going to do more of looting. Just trying to stay alive. Do some quests. Try out some of the new quests. Maybe try and see if we can do better speed run on the speed run quests. Because I'd like to see. I'm curious to see what the trader would give us. Maybe it's more XP. Maybe it's better loot. Better abundance of loot. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more uploads. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out bunches. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming! Thank <laughs> you.